Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Shruti. And I'm Drake. And together we are Beauty and the Bear. So today we're watching Full Metal Alchemist. So today we're jumping back into the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Season 1, Episode 54, Beyond the Inferno. Ooh. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. Wow. They are going back. Backstory. That Colonel? Okay. Is... Let's go. War is over now. Wasn't a war was to begin with. War. Fighting maybe, but the nightmares of what we did in this place are far from over. Ooh, PTSD for life. I, I trusted you with my father's research. And I applied to the military academy because I hope to help other people. I can never atone for the suffering I've caused. Jesus. I have a favor to ask. Please burn this off. Oh, fix no. my back. But how could I ever do something? At least I may not ever be able to atone. There can be no more flame alchemists. Bro. There could be no more. That's right. His her father was his master. Wow. He's got the pinpoint how accuracy. Could you be free from my father's burden. Please. Set me free from his alchemy. That's crazy. I'm begging you. Maybe this is a, this will be the way that he'll know it's the real if it's not the real Hawkeye. All right. I'll leave. The NB won't know to replicate something she can't see. Facts. That makes sense. Oh shit. What are you doing, Lieutenant? Don't make me laugh. When it's just us, the Colonel calls me by my first name, Riza. Wow, so it's Mustang that was the fake. Wow. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. And now you can do me the favor of dying. Woo! Yeah. Oh, man. The Hawkeye will make you religious. Get your holy real quick. <laughs> oh no. Oh fuck. Oh! What was that, babe? It was her hair thing, but her head hit the floor hard. Yeah, I did. Ooh! Flame. Ooh, watch him! Burn. Like he's throwing you dice. Know, you wanna die like <laughs> fucking lust? Don't interfere, Lieutenant. Told you I would take care of him myself. Okay, I got in a few wicked shots though. Yes, she did. Fingernails. Watch him, bruh. Hibachi. Oh, wow. Bang. 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 Oh. Oh, my God. Roasted on a spick. Look at you. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no! True form, then. You're ugly. <laughs> Envy means jealousy. Oh. Now burn in hell! What? And what do you think you're doing? That's enough, Colonel. I'll deal with him from here. Oh, he doesn't that want to see you burn out another... Burn another child. Who is that? Oh! oh! Got bigger issues at hand. That Come on. thing deserves the worst death possible. Bruh. No. Give him to me. Oh my god. Or I'll burn up your hands along with him. Whoa. Then. Is that the face you plan to wear when you're leading this country? Ooh. Is that what you want to be, Colonel? Another monster? <laughs> what right do I have to stop someone from taking vengeance? That's all you've been doing to this point. All right. Well, I mean, but still, <coughs> all the alchemists he killed. What kind of world a man held captive by his own hate would create? Wow. That being said, I have no intention of letting him live. 
I'll dispose of him. But I did it! I finally ran him down! I know that! This will not help, not your country or your friends. Wow. This is pure wow. hatred, and I will not let it take you. Wow. You're better. She believed in you. Don't let her down again. Mace Hughes, bruh. Wow, this guy's still. Still, man. Need to go to that place. Release that anger. They're going to shoot me, shoot me. This fight will be my last. Once all of this is over, I'm going to end my life. Whoa. What? Remove my secrets of flame alchemy from the world. You're showing her exactly why she wants it. Gone. That can't happen. I can't. Scolded by a child. Lectured by a man who has been my enemy. And you. I've done it again. I've hurt you. They just needed an excuse to have Hawkeye with her hair out again. <laughs> that she knocked her clip out when she got knocked out. Sure. Are you humans always such pathetic worms? Look who's the pathetic worm. Right. Listen to your gut. Do what you want to. Colonel Mustang, have you forgotten? Your pal Scar here was going to kill you. Oh, yeah. And what about that little girl who became a commander? Oh, that oh, fucking Shao Tucker. That was crazy. Watch this guy trying to sh fucking shit disturb. <laughs> oh man, this is the best NB I ever seen. But... I just want to see a battle. Battle Royale. That voice is hilarious. It is. Jealous of humans, are you? Mm. We humans, <clears throat> according to you, were supposed to be nothing when compared to homunculi. Mission powers are always there to pick us back up. And you're jealous. You envy us because of that. You humans don't make any sense to me. All things he said throughout this the is show. all things. Where are you going? Now! <laughs> Wait. He won't last long. Oh. Out of all the scum out there, you just had to be the one. Didn't you, Pipsqueak? <laughs> Keeps calling him. <laughs> oh, and he's crying. Wailing, and he's wailing. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of sad. He took the easy way out and killed himself. Pretty much. <laughs> Cowardly bastard. <laughs> oh, oh it's true. This battle. Oh no. Come on, get over here. Give us a hand. Give you no, a hand. To to different... No, we can't do that. We're under orders to kill General Armstrong. <clears throat> General, from this point on, I'll be running the show. I love that. I'm so here to kill you. Help You're under my command. Die. Nah, bruh. Here we go. Oh. Bullets have no effect on them. Go for their upper jaws. If we can get rid of those, at least we won't be eaten. Wow. Smart. Attack and pay. Like, uh, like Michonne did in Walking get Dead. Ready to fight Central Soldiers. That was it. Oh no, you don't! Let go! Does any 
so much easier if I can use both arms. Leave him! That's my brother! He's trained better than to be killed like this! It took too long to swing. Moment, yeah. The major! Armstrong rages! My shoulder is back! Oh, he knocked it back into place! Nice. Genius. Watch him. Hook, cross, right. Ooh, body shot, body shot. How oh, many? Oh! Oh! My strength and the art of my alchemy work beautifully together. <laughs> the Armstrong estate is completely empty. Damn it. Is this where they assembled that blasted tank? Oh, yes. Stop shouting! I can see! Nomad, <laughs> return fire! But the civilians haven't left yet, sir! And if we Bruh. wait, we're guaranteed to lose the main gate! Mm -hmm. <coughs> no order's coming Damn, from you now. What was that? <gasps> oh! So you plan to open fire on a populated area. Do you want that info to go out Fucking the radio, yeah. too? A man formerly from Command Center One who has a rather sharp memory. Um, he helped us out and pointed us to the exact location. That's right. After that, getting in was a piece of cake, really. Would you like me to introduce you to her? <gasps> Wait, who in that? When people ask, I say I'm a housewife. Oh! oh! I am an alchemist. Yes! <laughs> it was crazy. Yes. She's Frickin crazy. Go. Oh. Place number 23. I expected you would bring those boys of yours along with you when I'm dealing with something as lowly as you. Ooh. You're still a dwarf in a flask. Homunculus. You gave me part of your body. I'm in the flask. Today, all these many years later, you will become a part of mine. That's a high level match right there. And they both talking shit? So, obviously one's not aware of the other's power. Cause exactly, yo, exactly. Y'all ain't both knocking each other out. Woo! And so, what will you do now, little humans? <laughs> <laughs> After this. <laughs> Why does it all work this way? Next time on Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Episode 55, The Adult's Way of Life. <laughs> the time has come to thrust out your chest and move forward. Trust out your chest. Bah, of course, Armstrong is the... Is the and, and move forward. Bruh. Oh, man. We got 10 more episodes. Man, that was uh, that was great. That was another great episode. Wow, Hohenheim walked in like that. Eh? So we don't like we don't even know the extent of his power. You know what I'm saying? And exactly. so now we're gonna we're gonna we're really gonna find out. And it was odd that it wasn't odd. It was interesting that Edward because so I remember in the last episode, uh, Jerzo and Zampano are walking him down the hallway after uh, Lieutenant Mustang tells him. I've got envy one on one. You guys go, and then right. Hawkeye's like, "Guys, leave. We got him." So, um, one of the Chimera, I don't know if it was Jerzo Zampano or the, I think it was the Lion one, but he says to Edward, he's like, um, he's like, uh, "You shouldn't be worried. You, do you see what you see what he did back there? It, it'll be a it'll be a breeze for him." And then Edward says, "That's not what I was worried about." Mm. So then they're walking down the hallway later on and they show an, that like they show their they progressed a little bit in their march towards father and Edward says to Scar, Scar, I wanna talk to you about something. And then Scar turns around and says, It's about Roy Mustang, right? Mm. So like it was crazy that Edward perceived it because the thing is I remember when they were talking to Lust and 
he asked, were you the one that killed Mace Hughes? And Edward was like, <gasps> like, Edward was like, oh my God, like he went right to that. Right. And then he saw him ask him, I, 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 a second time he asked somebody else. And then there was a third time, I think he might have asked Greed or Pride, but then there was a third time, which was there when he asked Envy last episode. And Ed was like, like, he still got that vitriol in his heart. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, that's not what I was worried about. And then now I see it come full circle about you becoming the monster because every time you get an opportunity, like, like we're marching towards saving the country. And even though our goal is saving the country, you have a sub goal of torturing Torturing, whoever it is. You know what I'm saying? By any means necessary. And the thing is, despite maybe even the cost of it, you know what I'm saying? Like, the same way that the the military is ready to fire on Briggs, even though there's people around. What is Roy willing to do? That how far is Roy willing to kill Envy? Like, would he would he burn up the whole place just because Envy's there and bring down the whole building on people? Like, mm. they're seeing that he's blinded by his by hatred his now. Rage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the next step is obviously going to be foggy if you're if if you're if you're all consumed by this. It's vitriol, you know what I'm saying? Man, what a story. What a great what a great story. Like we're so we're so close to the end of it. And so you think that most of the exposure would just be action packed. But the story was so well told that the action is kind of just it's like Armstrong said, the action and the story complement each other perfectly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. and we can't wait to get on to the next one. Yeah. So Thank y'all for joining us for the latest episode of the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode down in our comments. And be sure to go over to our Patreon and check out the full-length uncut reaction or stop by simply to support our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre for Beauty and the Beard. We're signing off to the next one. Peace.